And welcome back! We're setting out on a first quest, which is... to collect raw meat. It, it's as easy as it sounds. This loading screen is boring. It's not animated like some of the others. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of that wisdom of the chief, and for the most part, I'm just gonna... Excuse me. Try and skip it. Because it's, it's really annoying. Uh, and I can explain what he's talking about faster than you can. You see that blue box on my left? Well, I'm going to approach it, and then the, the, the village elder's going to moan again. See, you're going to see me fumble up the controls for a bit. Here. Yeah, see, look, I creep towards the box, and he's just... Hang. It's the supply box. It's where you, you walk up to it, tap X, and you get a map of the area, some... You basically get whatever the guild, the hunting guild, that's the overseeing organization of this place, is giving you for the quest. Which is which usually which at least consists of a map, uh first aid med, a whetstone, and rations. Mini whetstones actually. I'll explain about whetstones later. Right now it's not important. Delivery box, if you have the if you have any items you need, just walk up to it and tap X and you'll deliver it. That's the bed, that's what you use to recover health. Now, look up top. The in the upper left you'll see two dial hands. The white hand is how much time you have currently taken up for your quest. The red hand is how much time you have for your quest. We have fifty minutes to collect two pieces of raw meat. Which is a joke, but you know, you're getting used to the game. They're gonna think, "Oh, maybe they want to explore around." We'll just give up. We'll just give them that. Let them go around. Maybe collect some stuff ahead of time. Now, unlike in Monster Hunter Tri, when you collect stuff, the, the, there isn't a little icon that appears above your head. Yeah, hunting. You use the right analog stick to attack, which is kind of weird controls, which may be another factor. Uh, of weird, which may be another factor of doing this in this game. See, I hit the triangle button, which is normally like the X, the Y button on the classic controller, which is what you use to attack, but I keep forgetting that. Yeah. Anyway, you see the weapon I'm using is the hunting knife. It's a uh, loose, it's a very quick, versatile weapon, and you can use items while having it drawn but it's really fucking pathetic and doesn't kill things really quickly and I doubt I'll ever use it at after I'm done these gathering missions I just don't I, I don't want to do that now something about monster hunter when you kill a monster you can carve it up and collect items from it like you saw I got a small monster bone there and that's raw meat that's what we're after it's not... The, these items you can use later if you have what you need. Oh, and press the start. There's your menu. You can hit the select button to sort. Which is again reversed from the uh, Monster Hunter Tri Classic controller because select is on the left and the plus button is on the right. On the two different controllers. Um... Anyway, yeah, just... The, these these monsters you see here, they're called Aptonoth. They're basically just docile herbivores. They don't really do much. They're not gonna... They, they won't hurt you if you don't hurt them. Some of them will protect their fellow mates, and some of them will just run across that lovely little rendered water effect there. That looks like it came from Toadstool Tour or whatever. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure even Toadstool Tour would have water like that. Anyway... There's our raw meat. And so we have two pieces of raw meat. We can deliver them to the box and be done with this. And be done with this. This is basically these segments are your training segments. Oh, and see, I was explaining before, that green bar at the top is your health, and the bottom one is your stamina. When you press R2, you dash, but in a quest, you use up stamina. When you dash t for too long on no stamina, your character will just stop and your stamina will refill faster, but you'll be stuck 
still for a while, which can be a problem if you're in the middle of a mo if you're in the heat of a monster fight. And that's why you eat the rations because that extends your stamina bar. I'll dem I'll demonstrate that next time, next update. But for right now, I just wanted to let everybody know I haven't died. I haven't given up LPing. I'm gonna do this. You know, same old, you know, crap like that. And yes, you will see the secondary LP from me soon enough. I think I might do the secondary one live, but whatever works. I mean, right now I'm just kind of... Oh yeah, reward materials. When you f complete a mission, get you can get certain materials that are related to that mission. Like if you kill a certain monster, you'll probably get parts of that monster as a reward. Or parts of lower or high of lower monsters or similar monsters. And then just some things all around. Right now we're just in the middle of the boring training part of the game where there's gathering quests. It's just trying to get you used to the forest and hills. So this is going to be boring for me because I know the forest and hills like the back of my hand. And now you'll see, before it was an urgent quest, which was that question, 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 question at the bottom. But now we have one star quest unlocked. We've already beaten that. Next is preparing meat, searching for items, combining items and fishing. Uh, this is the least... Th these are all pretty non-dangerous missions. They're basically, like I said, training missions. For the third fucking time. Anyway. Uh, I guess that'll do it. I'm gonna show around town a little more, talk to some people. You know, maybe get some little character development in here. Mining points. Blah, blah, blah. It's because he's a hunt. Boring stuff about mining. It's not boring to a hunter. You know, people who do something. And what's this? Oh, no, wait, never mind. Fake out. <laughs> Apparently that guy's name is Chat. Why? Who gives their name... Who, gi who names somebody Chat? I mean, I named my guy LP just for the sake of calling it an LP, but... Oh, wait. No, wait, they're not named Chat. It's just called Chat. Why you'd label a certain com... What's it gonna be? What's next? Important conversation? Talking about business deals? Polite talk with noblewoman. Oh, what's this? It's the Master Sword! But I'm not the hero of time and I can't pull it out anyway. <laughs> no, wait, I need to collect three pendants. That's right, that's the right game I'm looking for. Anyway, we can't have that yet. Not until a certain somebody tells us we can. Uh, so yeah, next time, next update, I believe we're going to clear out all the gap, all the, uh, Stupid gathering missions. The Velociprey, yeah. If you're thinking Velociraptor, you're in the right... You're in the right, uh, ballpark. Anyway, that's it, that's it for this episode. This is Bladed Lightning. And... I hope you enjoy... I hope you all will enjoy this LP from me. I know I'm gonna enjoy playing it. See you later, folks.